Hi there and welcome to your yoga class. Today we are going to do a really cool story called Never Tickle a Tiger. You might have read the book but it doesn't matter if you've not read the book because you'll know the story by the end of this anyway. So let's get started the way that we always get started by sitting on our knees. That's it. And just pat your knees if you don't know the Namaste song, okay? And if you do, please sing along in your loudest voice possible, okay? Are we ready? One, two, three. Say hello and namaste, time for fun and yoga play. Am I ready? Yes, I am sitting on my mat. Well done, I could hear you from here. And next, we get out our little friend that always watches us do yoga because it's his favourite thing in the whole wide world. And does anyone remember his name? That's right, it's Om. What a funny name that is. But let's shout on it and see if he'll come out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Om. Well done. Let's see if he's going to come out and say hello. Oh, here he is here. Hi, Om. He's, oh, look how excited he is today. He's really wriggly and jiggly today, aren't you, Om? He's very wriggly and jiggly. You'll find out why in a little minute. Do you think you can stop wriggling and jiggling? Time enough for us to read the story? Yes, I think you probably could. So he's going to sit in his yoga mat. That's us just down here. Oh, good boy, stop wriggling and jiggling and you'll find out why, don't worry. And we're going to sit and say our magic yoga word, which is namaste. Are you ready? One, two, three, hands together. Namaste. Well done. Okay, let's get on with it. So, we are going to meet a little girl called Izzy. She has lovely pigtails, is very pretty and clever, and she is a jiggler and a wriggler and a fidgeter. Are any of you a fidgeter out there? Hmm. So let's do some fidgeting. That's it. Fingers first. Arms. Fidget your arms. Do your head. That's it. And let's stand up and do our legs as well. That's it. So first of all, let's keep jiggling. Jiggle your leg. Jiggle your other leg. And then jiggle your whole body. She was a fidgeter and she couldn't stop fidgeting. That's right. And everyone got a bit tired of her fidgeting. Yes, they did. So her mum and dad would say, Izzy, just eat your peas when she was eating her dinner. That's right, but she used to try and flip a pea up and catch it in her mouth. She did. And her teacher used to say, Izzy, stop painting with your pigtails at school. So let's take her pigtails and do some painting up and painting down, painting up and painting down and painting side to side. That's right. And what did her grandma say? She said, Izzy, stop knotting my knitting. So let's ravel some wool up. That's it. She's a big fidgeter, is Izzy. Ravel, 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 ravel. That's it. And what do you think would be a good way to stop fidgeting? Maybe taking some nice deep breaths? Let's stand up. Hands together at the sides, that's it. And we'll take a big deep breath in. And a big deep breath out. That's it. Through your nose if you can. In and out. And let's do one more. In and out. Do you feel a little bit less fidgety? I hope you do. But anyway, our story starts really when they go to the zoo. Her and her whole class went on the bus to the zoo for a school trip. So let's sit down. Put your legs out in front of you, hold on to your bus steering wheel and bump up and down. Busties are always bumpy, aren't they? So let's steer one way, that's it, big, big stretch. Steer the other way, big, big stretch. Let's go up the hill, oh, and let's go down the hill. That's it. And eventually they get to the zoo and there's big gates at the zoo and it says zoo. Mm -hmm. And no doubt as to where you are. So let's sit up, that's it. And put your leg out to the side. Put one hand up, 
the other side from the leg that's out and we open one gate, that's it. And let's come back to the middle, put the other leg out to the side, put one hand up and open the other gate and all the children go in, that's right. But Izzy, yeah, she was still fidgeting, that's right, jiggling, juggling, wriggling, sniggling, you name it, she was doing it. So Miss Potterhurst, her teacher, was saying to her, now Izzy, you behave yourself and no wriggling and jiggling and bothering anyone today, okay? And she said, yes, Miss Potterhurst, but I think we know that that's probably not going to be the case, don't we? Mm -hmm. So she says to Izzy, because she catches her very, very soon after, telling her she's not allowed to jiggle and wriggle and poke and do all sorts of things, she says... Izzy, stop annoying the snakes. Izzy's up there tapping on the glass. So let's come down into our snake pose. We lie on our front, that's it. Hands under your shoulders and we come up into a snake pose, side to side, that's it. And she said, don't go annoying the elephants, Izzy. So let's come up and Put our legs apart and clasp your hands in the middle and we're going to do a big elephant trunk. So raise your trunk up and go up, that's it, and bend over, uh-huh, and she said, Izzy, stop bothering the bears. So put your feet wide again, that's it, and we're going to sit down this time as if we're sitting on a chair and put our hands up in claws and go in bear pose, that's it. Sit down nice and tight, that's it. And she said, stop poking the monkeys, Izzy. So we have to do a monkey pose. We have to put our feet together, crouch down, and then we're going to go, okay? So after three, one, two, three, that's it. And she said, stop tapping the tortoises. Poor tortoises getting their little shells tapped. So let's come down onto our knees, put your bottom on your heels and put your head on the floor in a lovely tortoise pose. That's it. Tortoises are lovely and quiet, aren't they? And then she said, you really need to stop annoying the peacocks as well. You know those birds with the massive big feathery tails? So let's do peacock pose. We have to lie down, put our legs up in the air like this, and then open them nice and wide like a big peacock tail. That's it, bring them up and open them again. One more, bring them up and open them. Well done. And Miss Potter her said, never ever tickle a tiger. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to tickle a tiger. So let's do our tiger pose. We have to come up on our hands and knees. We put one leg out the back and we put the other hand out the front and we go Rawr. Okay, let's do the other side. One leg out, one hand out and Rawr. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if we tickled a tiger. Do you think we're going to find out? I think we might. So anyway, all the school children were having their lunch. That's right. So we're going to make a little sandwich. Let's sit down, put our legs out. Now, what are you going to have in your sandwich today? Well, I think Izzy's going to have ham in her sandwich. So let's butter the bread, put your hands on your legs and go butter, butter, butter. That's it. Then twist round to the side and get some ham, pat, 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 put it on your sandwich, then turn around and get some tomato sauce. <coughs> ham and tomato sauce, lovely. So let's get the other bit of bread, reach your hands right up and come down and touch your toes. Now if it's too stretchy, bend your knees a wee bit. Okay, do So then we cross our legs, come down in our elbows and we go hum, 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 hum. Munchity, crunchity, lovely sandwich. Rub your tummy, because that's what we do when things taste nice, and pat your head. That's it. And then see if you can do it on the other side. Can you do that on the other side? It takes a bit of practice sometimes on the other side. Well done. So, 
everyone else is finishing their lunch, but Izzy was going to get up to no good. So she bounced a bit along the path. Can we bounce? Her bounce, bounce, bounce. She skipped a little bit. Da 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 da. She hopped a little bit as well. Can you hop? Hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 that's right. She was getting up to mischief because she, she wasn't meant to leave the rest of the children, was she? And she went all the way along the path to the tiger enclosure. And the tiger was sleeping. Let's all lie down on our sides oh, and sleep. That's it, on one side. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? And Izzy... She found a feather. She did. So let's stand up because Izzy put the feather in her hand, put her legs apart, turn one foot out, the foot that you've got your feather in, that's it, and then put your knee bent like that, put the other hand out. And she reached through the bars of the tiger enclosure and went, tickle, 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 and tickled the tiger, come back up to the middle, put the other foot out and put your feather in that hand and go, Tickle, tickle, tickle. <sighs> what do you think happened? That's right, there was a big roar. So we're going to do that even better than that. We're going to kneel down, that's it. And we're going to do one, two, three, bah! and stick your tongue out as well, okay? Let's do one more. One, two, three, bah! well done. The tiger got a massive fright and so did all the rest of the animals. That's right, the tiger accidentally smacked the snake. So let's do our snake pose. Come down on your front and we go Sss. Poor wee snake gets smacked. That's right, the bear got a bit bothered. Let's come up. Put your feet apart, remember, hands up to the side and bend down and go Rah! That's it. The elephant got prodded. Let's come stand up like this, get our hands together and we go Rah! Rah! Well done. That's it. The penguin got ponged, that's right. So let's put our heels together and our hands at our sides like this and waddle, 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 <laughs> That's it. Waddle, 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 waddle. And even the crocodile, he got bothered as well, that's right. Let's lie down on your side, put your hands on top of each other and go snap, snap, snap. Got to do the other side as well though. So come up and lie down. That's it. Snap, snap, snap. So the poor crocodile, he rammed a rhino, he did. So let's come up and we put one foot forward like this on our knees and we put our hands clasped forward just like a big rhino horn, that's right. And then we put that knee down, keep your hands up and put that knee up. That's it, poor big rhino, that's it. And then the rhino accidentally poked the wee hippo who went over into the pond. So let's stand and do this <gasps> because the hippo was just about to fall in the pond. That's it, big arm circles. And we go splash into the pond. It was absolute chaos. And the zookeeper came running. That's right. And Izzy was looking around in a panic and she said, stop. And guess what? Everyone did stop. That's right. The elephants stopped stopped barging into everything, the penguin stopped running about, the rhino was feeling a wee bit better because all it took was for someone just to say, stop. Oh, dear, dear, dear. And Miss Potterhurst, she was pulling her hair out. She was. <laughs> but it was time to go home, thankfully, thought Miss Potterhurst. So she got all the children on the bus and she said to Izzy, Promise me you'll never ever tickle a tiger. And Izzy said, Miss Potterhurst, I will never ever tickle a tiger again. 
But before I get in the school bus, what could be the harm of prodding a polar bear? So put your fingers out in front of you and point and stretch your shoulders. Can you prod, 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 prod? <gasps> naughty, is he? She's very naughty, isn't she? And that's what happens when you fidget a little bit too much. So let's go for a little lie down on the school bus on the way home. Such a busy time at the zoo. <gasps> ah, that's it. Let's lie down and relax for two minutes. And think about what Izzy got up to. She was a fidgeter, wasn't she? She fidgeted a lot. And it got her into a little bit of trouble, didn't it? So it means you've always got to listen to your teachers, haven't you? And never, ever leave your teachers either. That's what happens. You might tickle a tyre and get everybody into trouble. And all the animals overexcited. That's it. Think about all the different animals that we saw. We saw elephants and tigers, of course, and penguins and hippos and rhinos. We saw lots and lots of different animals. And you could think right now, with your eyes closed, about your favourite animal. Just imagine it as if it's just sitting between your eyes there and you're having a good look at it. Is it something small? Is it something big? Is it something furry? Is it something scary? That's it. Or it might be an animal you know. It might be your own dog or cat or hamster. Something like that. Ah, and think about how nice it is to be looking at your animal and maybe even lucky enough to cuddle it as well. Maybe not if it's a shark or a crocodile. <laughs> That's it. Taking a couple of nice deep breaths. We're going to wriggle our toes. Wriggle our fingers. That's it. We're going to open our eyes and we're going to sit up really, really slowly. That's it. Sit up really, really slowly and cross your legs again. And we're going to put our hands at our heart and say our magic yoga code word again. Yes, are you ready? One, two, three. And remember, it's namaste. You ready? Namaste. Well done. I wonder how Om enjoyed that. Because mm, he was fidgeting a bit before, wasn't he? Yes, he's calmed down a wee bit now. And what was that? He was saying his favourite animal is a tiger. He's a wee bit scared though, in case it might bite him if he ever met one in real life. But that's okay, Om. I will save you if that happens. Yes. So that's one of Om's favourites as well, because there's lots and lots of animals in there, isn't there? So I hope you enjoyed that as much as Om and I enjoyed it. And we'll hope to see you back here again soon for another yoga story. See you later. <laughs>